I've been thinking a lot about the concept of boldness. We, we all know that one of the hindrances to boldness is fear, particularly the fear of man. You know, we, we are fearful of what they're going to say, what they're going to think. You know, they're going to say we something that we not. Right. But underneath that and next to it is really also a fear of suffering. Like saying what scripture has to say, exalting Christ as Lord, that comes with a cost. And so it is easier then to opt out of those kinds of conversations uh, so that we can stay safe, so that we can stay secure. So that that is a hindrance to boldness. But another hindrance to boldness that we don't talk about enough is a lack of compassion. Compassion compels you to say a thing because if I love me more than I love you, what am I going to do? I'm going to protect myself. I'm going to make sure I'm good, I'm safe, I'm secure, even if it means that you go straight to hell. And so compassion compels us to get out of ourselves, to care more about our neighbor than we do ourselves to, to tell the truth. Now, you need compassion also because we got people who are truth tellers, who are bold, but they, they are more addicted to the telling of truth than the glory of God in the way they do it. And so it doesn't have the same nurture, same love, same care. So it doesn't even land in a way that I think glorifies God. And so, yeah. Fearing God more than man, but also loving people more than you love yourself, but loving God more than you even love them. I think all of that works together to make us a very bold person in Jesus name. <laughs>